Say that. And new. First time in your pro career, you uh, you won't be booty or obviously fighting at home. Just what's that feel like to know that you're gonna have a packed house Saturday night here for you? Yeah, I mean it feels good. I still gotta go in there and do my job and you know perform. But um, you know it feels good to not to to, to not feel like I'm gonna be, get booed, to not be booed. Um, but I I got that tunnel vision when I'm when I'm in the ring. So if the crowd boo me or if they not, uh, I still do my job. I still perform. And uh, I did it in Australia. I did it in my last fight versus um, Momochinko. Did it against Jojo Diaz. So uh, I, I perform no matter what. Sam, clear it up for the people because you know they try to say you ain't from the Bay. They try to say you ain't from San Francisco, but I'm not from San Francisco. I'm from Oakland. I was born in San Francisco. My mom is from San Francisco. My dad is from Oakland, so that's where it get confused. I was born, you know, my mom, my mom birthed me. So, well, I'm, you know, I'm talking. I was born at the hospital that uh, my mom. You no, know, for sure, but I, I'm talking about the haters that try to say you they from see, Vegas, man. How, how you coming to the Bay and, and selling out? They, they see how we, they see, they see how we coming. They gonna see um, when all my people come out, all my family, all my friends, everybody, all my supporters, the whole Bay gonna come out and. Uh, and uh, Regis can say what he want to say, but uh, he went to New Orleans and he didn't sell. <laughs> he did not sell. So, and, and put, and I came to the Bay and I sold. So, we gonna see who, who from where. Any surprises? Any, any surprises for the people on the ring walk Saturday night? Tony, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Devin, uh, this is your you know first uh, fight week at 140 pounds, man. How does this feel different from uh, 135 pound Devin? <clears throat> Man, I feel so much better. Um, like, I didn't realize how much, like, I was depleting myself until now. Like, you know, like, I was just so used to just, you know, killing myself and just feeling like that was just the way to do it. Um, but now, like, I'm like, it's crazy. It's crazy how much better I feel, how much, you know, much more rest I can get. Like, Fucking, bro, look, I'm fucking drinking. Like, I'm not, like, dry or nothing, none of that. I feel great. Um, I'm excited for the world to see, you know, how much better, how much stronger, how much faster, everything um, I am at 140. You mentioned, uh, or at least I heard that you mentioned you were talking about moving up a, a third division up to, to 147. It's pretty quick. You haven't even fought, you know, at 140 yet. Is that, you know, the plan for the next fight, or you think you'll be Yeah, I mean, it's, some, it's something I'm interested in. Um, you know, we've been... We've been in talks with some with some people, but um, you know my main focus right now is beating Regis Progress. Once I'm victorious, um, I can tell you guys our plans. How do you think uh, you're gonna absorb the shots better? You know, our Regis talks about you know power. He's gonna hurt you. You know, all that stuff. You know, left-handers have have touched you with the left hand. You know, I mean, uh, uh, how do you think the absorption of the power is gonna be? I mean, for at the end of the day, um, you know, you're getting there with the eight-ounce gloves. You know, everybody has, you know, respectable power. So um, he can say what he want to say. He's banking on power. I'm banking on skill. I'm banking on, you know, IQ, um, you know, um, experience. So he can say what he want to say. Um, Y'all know, y'all know that, you know, when somebody go in there just thinking that, oh, I'm just going to bulldoze him. I'm going to just, I'm going to just go in there and knock him out. That's, that's, that's crazy because, you know, uh, I'm not a novice fighter. I'm not a, you know, fighter that just came off. You know, street or you know, don't like don't have real experience. I've been in there with the best of the best. Um, you know, my last fight, I fought arguably, you know, I mean, you know, not arguably, arguably, you know, uh, a future Hall of Famer, um, and and uh, Lomachenko. You know, you look, look at my resume. So uh, he can say what he want to say, but that's what he's supposed to say. You know, uh, um, I like that, and uh, it's gonna make for uh, a, a great fight. You know, him coming here with that with that mindset, that game plan, it's gonna make for a, a, a great fight. Devin, we didn't get to attend the time you spent with Regis yesterday. Can I ask a little bit? Did you two have interact with each other last year? No, we didn't. We didn't even talk. Devin, Regis suggested that the only reason you're fighting him is because of his last fight and his performance. Has, has he always been on your radar? No, I mean, you know, I was at 135, so the guys at 135 was on my radar. But um, then, you know, we we were deciding to, to move up. It was it was up in the air for you know a little bit of time. And uh, it was e it was an easy fight to be made. You know, we, we explored the the TFBMO fight. You know, with Bob, we talked about you know possibly making that fight happen. Uh, but this fight was easiest to to, to make happen. And um, you know, it's a great fight for boxing. So um, I don't know. I he, he he I feel like he he keep talking about his last performance. Like he's 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 
that's that last performance is in his head. Devin, uh, you know, Regis obviously is calling into question your knockout record and what you've done in the past, but you're at 140 now. You know, what can we expect from you in terms of power? What kind of power are you bringing to this weight? Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of, you know, we've seen a lot of, you know, greats, you know, go up in weight classes and, um, you know, have more power, have more strength. Um, Holyfield, um, give me some names. Who else? Who else? Manny. Can, can James Sony. Manny Pacquiao, was, yeah. So tough. James Sony, exactly. So we've seen a, a, a lot of guys go up and, and you know become much more stronger. Um, so uh, that's that. That's what I look to do. But you know I don't want to make it you know oh just like I'm just going in there and I'm just sleeping. I'm, I'm just sleeping shit. But uh, I'm definitely much more stronger. Um, and he will he will feel me uh, on the knife. Follow up question for you. So, you know, I know you were just asked about potentially going to 147 and you said, you know, you've had some conversations, but let's just say you stick at 140. I mean, things are starting to line up in this division. You know, Ryan looks like he wants Rowley. Tio looks like he wants Terrence Crawford. You know, where can we potentially see you next if you stay at 140? Yeah, um, we got to see. Like I said, my main focus is Regis Prograce, getting past him. And then um, we got to see what, what, what the 140 pound, you know, landscape looks like. Um, but like I said before, I want to make the biggest fights happen. Um, you know, I became undisputed. Uh, it was it, it was a dream come true of mine. You know, I I I, I, I got the belts. You know, I uh, I made history. But uh, now, you know, I want to make the biggest fights happen. You know, for that 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 that, that make the most. So is undisputed still a goal for you at, at 140? Is it even an option for you at this point? Uh, as of right now, you know, um, not really. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I, I accomplished it at, at 135. Um, now I want to make big fights happen, you know. Um, big money. Yeah, yeah, big money, big <laughs> fights. Yeah, um, you, you smart, Marcos. <laughs> Speaking of the biggest fights, champ, right now it's said that they had to open up more seats yeah. for this arena for your homecoming fight. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, you know, it's 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 been a long time coming. They they but they don't want to say that though. They don't want they don't want it to be known that they opening up more seats and you know that that, that I'm selling out. You know the, the the Chase Center. You know we're probably gonna do seventeen, eighteen thousand people, but they don't want to talk about that. They say Devin Haney can't sell though, right? That's what that's the that's what they say. They say I don't sell. I'm boring. I'm this. I'm that. But when I sell, they 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 don't want to say nothing. I just me and Loma Chico just did seventeen thousand too. So you know um, they can say what they want to say. Um, Campos is forty four. Campos is forty four thousand. Yeah, you feel vindicated, so, huh? Yeah. So hey, listen, it 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 is what it is. Uh, I clearly sell. Um, but it is what it is. They, what, what, what can I say? Speaking, speaking of the ticket sales, that, speaking of the. When you say they, who do you mean uh, when you're saying they don't want. The people, the people that, I mean, the people, the people who's, who say it. Who, they, they know who they are, whoever they are. I don't have no, like, real, you know. Are we talking boxing fans or people in boxing? Whoever. <laughs> Devin, getting back. So, media, you saying media and fans are like. Speaking of the ticket sales, though, uh, Regis feels that. A lot of the, the the ticket sales come from him since he resides in California. He he feels that he'll have. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All the tickets come from him. <laughs> they're, 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 it's, it's selling out because of Regis. Regis doing a great job. Devin, he suggested in an interview that you, I think the quote was, "Disable you." Uh, does that make you want to put on a brutal performance? I said that, that to him. I said I'm a. I said I'm a disable him and handicap him. Man, he fighting everything that I'm that I'm saying that I'm doing, man. What, Whatever. What do you make of uh, the promotion that Regis has done for this fight so far? No, I'm not gonna lie though. He did. He, he's done a tremendous job with the with the, the build up. Um, you know, I, I finally got somebody on the other side to actually talk shit, and um, you know that's 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 willing to sell. So uh, you know, I take my hat off to him. You know, he I know he I know he don't believe the stuff that he say. <laughs> but uh, well, Tio admitted that. He's not the star you are, so why you think he believes he's the one that sold the tickets? Oh, who, um, um, Regis? Regis? Yeah, he, he said he's, that he, you're the star. He's fucking delusional if he thinks that he's that he's the one selling the tickets, you know. Um, but I don't know. We we, we gonna see on fight night when uh when the when the when the whole arena going crazy for me and uh, people jumping out their chairs and uh going crazy i don't know if you saw but he re just released a, a video kind of in lead up to this fight and in the video he asked uh his child like who do you know lives in a house like this 
And uh, his child said, Devin Haney, I don't know if you saw that or your yeah, thoughts nah, of that. That shit, that shit was funny as hell, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what to really say about it, but uh... <laughs> How much confidence do you have now coming into this fight, seeing that uh, you did beat a, a Hall of Famer and Vasily Lomachenko, and when you compare his resume to, to uh, your resume to Regis, uh, you have a lot more, it seems, uh, a lot more fighters on there that are more experienced than what he's faced. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I definitely got, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, confidence going into it, but everybody different. You know, you cannot go into the, you know, each fight with the same mindset, the same, you know, um, thinking that, you know, it's going to the last fight, you just, it's like this fight. Um, every fight, you know, I'll go in, prepare mentally, physically for, you know, uh, the best. And, um, you know, uh, on fight night, the, wor the world's going to see. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited to, to just show, you know, everything that, that, that I've been working on, how much better I am at 140, you know. Um, I don't want to beat it down y'all heads or beat it down y'all throats or whatever, but uh, it's, it's going to be a great night. What's, What's he going to be in shock team? about uh, with you being at 140? My everything, my strength, my speed, my IQ, my everything is just sharp right now. Hey, Tank, it seemed like Tank is indirectly calling you out as a late, and there's been viral sparring sessions that people tried to claim that it was you in the sparring session. And he came out today, he says, it's not you yet. It's not little buddy yet. What's your thoughts on that fight? <laughs> I didn't even see that. Um, you know, uh, that's a uh, that's a huge fight for boxing. Like I said, I'm willing, I want to make the biggest fights happen. Um, you know, um, we just got to see after this one. You know, what about, about a fight, what about a fight with Ryan? One thirty-five. My main focus is my main focus is, you know, beating Regis Progress. You know, we got we got a guy. You know, that's that y'all are here to see me fight um, Saturday night. So uh, I don't want to get too drawn up on, you know, future opponents or past opponents because my main focus is Regis Progress. So uh, tune in. What's your prediction? Be, uh, Thank you. I'm going to beat this shit. Uh, I like the adjustments that he made. Um, I didn't I didn't watch the whole fight, but uh, I like the adjustments that he made. Um, what about his shoulder roll, Dev? <laughs> yeah, the shoulder roll uh, was terrible, but he knocked him out and uh, he made good adjustments. So uh, congrats to Ryan. Thank you, Champ, first time in your pro career, you're not gonna be booed. What's that feel like? Man, it feels good. YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.